Once again, HTC Vive has created headsets for recreational VR consumers. I've previously owned the original Vive, the Vive OG, and the Vive Pro OG with the lens mod. I also bought the Quest 2 mainly for its portability and ease of travel. However, after hearing various complaints about the XR Elite, I was concerned it might not be a significant upgrade in the quality of gameplay, particularly for PC-based games. For instance, Kayak Mirage on the Quest 2 was a huge disappointment. There was no detail or definition in the scenery, whether I played standalone or through PC VR with a cable. With these experiences in mind, I worried that the XR Elite might also underperform without the video compression of the Vive Pro, especially when running off USB-C. But, I was pleasantly surprised. I've been using VR since consumer headsets became available, and the XR Elite represents a noticeable improvement. The pancake lenses make a significant difference, providing much clearer and more defined images than the Quest 2. The diopters are an added bonus. Despite wearing contacts, I decided to adjust the diopters during setup. I set one eye to two and a half, and everything appeared crystal clear. Although my vision is generally fine, it's a relief to have such clarity in VR. For those experiencing God rays, I recommend adjusting the diopters. Using a cable link, I managed to run Lone Echo smoothly, a feat I could never achieve with the Quest 2. The Quest 2 would drop more frames than it displayed, resulting in a poor visual experience even with a high-quality wired link. On the other hand, the Vive Pro wasn't ideal either because of the screen door effect. However, with the XR Elite, Lone Echo looks fantastic and runs incredibly smoothly. I haven't tried Half-Life, Alex yet, but I'm confident it will perform just as well as Lone Echo if not better. I'm thrilled that the headset runs all my old Steam programs and Revive without any issues. Everything operates seamlessly, making this upgrade a fantastic experience.